today is going to be the best day ever because we are finally trading in my car and I am sad to see it go because I'm really proud of just like how well I've taken care of this car. I've had it since high school, senior year of high school. So I think it's been about like 10 years almost. I have a 2012 Cadillac SRX and I cannot wait to show you guys my new upgrade. The one thing I'm most excited about is CarPlay because my car right now doesn't have it. So I literally have a pop socket contraption that I just like place my phone onto the car to see the maps, but I cannot wait for this screen. Like one thing about me, if I'm gonna get a car, like I want it to be decked out with like the cool screens and all the cool little features. I'm pretty sure this new car literally has a massage feature. Like what the heck? I felt so safe in this car and I've honestly loved this car. It's like that SUV mom style car. I don't know why I call them mom cars, but I just do. White exterior, this like beige interior. You guys are going to die when you see the new interiors. Like it is just so beautiful. But the one thing I'm gonna miss about this car is the steering wheel. I do really like how it's wooden. Like I just think it looks so luxurious and it honestly feels luxurious. I was actually test driving some Mercedes and I just felt like the wheels felt so cheap compared to my nice, beautiful wooden one. Let me turn this car on. This is what the screen looks like. It does have navigation. I don't want to show you guys because obviously my address is right there. It has a CD player, which honestly the other day I was like, do cars even come with CD players anymore? Because I feel like no one even has CDs. Panning down to show you guys like the center console. This thing got stuck, so I don't even know what I have in there. Might be money, might not be money. It's supposed to press in and then just like eject, but it just doesn't. So whoever gets it open will have a nice surprise. Here's what the back seat looks like. To be honest, I was trying to drive this until it literally died on me because it is all paid off. So I haven't had a car payment and it's just been so freaking nice. And I wasn't like ready to take on another payment, but honestly, it's just been really annoying me these past couple of weeks. For one, I haven't been able to use my trunk for over a year now. When I would open my trunk, it started malfunctioning and it would literally drop. So it almost hit me in the head multiple times. It was honestly very scary. And then one day it just like would not open at all. I did take it somewhere for them to look at it. It was like $200 to just look at it and figure out what was wrong. And then they wanted like $2,000 plus some to try something out and they weren't guaranteeing it would fix it so i was just like you know what i'm probably gonna get rid of this car soon i will just go however much longer without a trunk so that's what i did and then recently the battery's been acting up almost every other time i would start my car i would have to pop the hood and like jiggle the battery because i don't know if it's like bolted in right that's probably an easy fix to be honest but i think i'm just like ready for an upgrade i think the car is literally arriving in five minutes so i need to grab all of the documents the check get it prepared so we can make this little trade and i can get in my new car as soon as possible saying my goodbyes Paperwork is done. I think we're gonna go for a little joy ride and then I'll show you guys more features. We're in an empty parking lot so I can show you a lot more of this car. I feel like it was kind of weird to like film at my house. So here is what the inside looks like. Look at, wow, this is literally mm -hmm. my skin okay. color. The makeup all show up on it now. <laughs> That's true. Um, okay, where do we start? Oh my gosh, I feel like there's so much compared to my other car. Your screen. Your okay, yeah, let's. Wheel. Point it back to my screen. This is one giant screen and it just ends like near the center console. Over here you can press map, you can see it like that, or you can just have it like the miles per hour. This is also where you can see you your can trip. Let's check out the camera. This is what overhead looks like. Why is it kind of like zoomed in? It's just showing the back. You want so you don't clip a car when you're mm -hmm. coming out, I guess, or you can see behind you also. Mm -hmm. Coming from side to side. See the side camera. Oh, huh, that's cool. Oh, you missed one. Oh. Whoa. That's cool. Maybe you can. Dang. Oh, your accessibility that's insane. Yeah. So what in the world? <laughs> that's nice. How? Okay, that is literally insane. Artificial intelligence. Wow. <laughs> Uh, let's see, okay, the front of the car. I used this when I was pulling into the driveway. Mm -hmm. I could see if I was on the side of the Oh, driveway. that's really nice, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. The seats actually have heating and cooling, 
which is very nice for the Austin summer months. Well, like it actually has Wi Fi. Wait, what? This car has Wi Fi? Yeah. So if you're getting a laptop, you can like. That's so cool. And then this is turns everything to a Alexa. Now. Wait, I like Alexa better than Google. You can tell Alexa to like turn on the lights when you in your car. Probably. Oh, that's cool. really nice. Yeah. You have an app now too, I think. Oh well, yeah. You have to get yeah. You get to like sign mm -hmm. in on your phone, which you can like program I think to start your car mm -hmm. at certain times or warm up or whatever you know. Okay, we're gonna show the massage chairs. Both of these front seats have massage chairs built in. So there's like a lumbar and these like uh, side pads can massage too. Um, oh, but they squeeze you. Oh, they squeeze so it's like you. Driving past, you know? Oh, hmm, that's cool. Um, it's nothing like crazy, like you're not gonna get like a. Deep tissue? Yeah, deep tissue massage, but it is kind of like calming. Which. You get blood flowing, you know that? In the long road trip, mm -hmm. the old one used to have like where your butt would like move your butt around. Really? Yeah, would, like keep like yeah. You're, oh, like, that's what that's tired. for. Yeah. Mm. I'll show them on the screen the massage thing. So that was the sides that I was talking about. That's the lumbar. So you can do roll only. You said have the other options. This is what's in there some plugs back down here we have the ac clickers and this car comes with the lane keep assist, assist. <laughs> and then um on the steering wheel we have adaptive cruise control heated steering wheel and we'll close a little shade so i don't forget to mm -hmm. remember yours is broken <laughs> yeah i know there was like a like string hanging down from it and <laughs> I never cut it off but the material was just like tearing yeah, it's apart. It's really nice, it was really hot in here. Yeah, back to the console. Nice little tray. Yeah. The phone holder. This might be um, wireless. Yeah, it looks it like it would be. Would say, I think it's just grippy. Oh. It's not charging, so I doubt it. Hmm. Okay. Not a wireless charger. Sophie's trying to take in all the new car smell. <laughs> <laughs> trying to see who's been in this car before. Oh. Here's what the back seat looks mm -hmm. like. Ryan knows a lot more about cars than I do, so I'm just going to give him the floor because I feel like this is good information to know. Well, she doesn't really care about this stuff and it's not that important, but it has like the auto brights. So when you have the brights on or there's no cars coming, it'll turn your brights on for you and when it sees lights, it'll turn them off. Mm -hmm. And then as the rain sends, where like it'll just know it's raining and how fast to do the wipers. Oh, that's cool. Okay, open let's go your, check out the trunk. Open your trunk over there. We we'll finally have a trunk after a year. Where is the trunk button? Oh, that thing? Yeah, press that in. Just the whole button. Wow! A beautiful <laughs> sound, huh? <laughs> what do you guys think of my new trunk? <laughs> I can finally put groceries back here. You can take this off, see if you want. Can you tell them about the tires? Wheels and tires? Like they're all black. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah. They okay. think they're all black. Yeah. These are the 20 inch black wheels, which cost less than like polished chrome ones. Like Cadillac kind of, like, loves chrome for some mm. reason. Like this is supposed to be chrome, and all the other ones. Yeah, on the, so the difference between the Sport and the Premium Luxury, one of the main differences is that this is chrome. My last car had the chrome, so I actually really liked how it wasn't chrome on the Sport. Here's another overview from the passenger side. I can already see all the fingerprints on the screen. This is what it looks like. These seats are just so gorgeous, and it has a chrome emblem right here, making it look even more luxe. Now it's time to show you guys the outside of the car, so you can tell that there's vertical lights, which makes it super modern. Love the black wheels on this. I think this one is a little bit more boxy looking than what I had. I got everything set up in the app, so I wanted to show you guys how it works. It's the My Cadillac app. You can unlock the car, start the car, and lock the car all from this phone. So when you want to unlock, you just keep holding it, and then it sends it to the car. I don't know if you guys heard that click, but 
It just unlocked it. Now let's try starting it. Just hold it. This is gonna be super helpful in the winter months. You can actually click that and tell it what temperature you want the car to be. I think it's been about a month since I traded in my old car for this car and I could not be more in love. Like this is just honestly a dream to drive. It's kind of bad, but I'll be on the highway and it just like does not feel like you're going so fast. And randomly I'll see that I'm going 80 and I'm just like, holy crap, it does not feel like that because it's just, just so smooth. CarPlay has changed my life. I knew it would. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Sometimes I have the urge to like pick up my phone at a stoplight or in traffic. And now having CarPlay, I have that urge way less. I don't know why. I think it's just because like maybe I'm distracted or I'm able to change my Spotify because most of the time it was just like changing the song or the playlist but I can literally like scroll through all my Spotify playlists on my CarPlay. I don't remember the last time we took Ryan's car anywhere because I just want to be in my car all the time. I honestly like sitting in the passenger seat even more than driving it and I don't think Ryan minds either because he loves driving this car. I can't remember if I mentioned this in the beginning of my vlog but I was trying to decide if I wanted to buy the car or lease it and I ultimately decided to lease it because I feel like in three years I'm going to possibly be a mom and want an even bigger car or even get like an electric car I want to see like the technology improve a little bit more and then maybe buy the next car but for right now I'm kind of fine with leasing it the one thing about leasing that I hated was that you're confined to a certain amount of miles that you can drive over your three-year lease but then I realized I really don't drive that many places I don't go to an office building every day and yes I drive for photo shoots but it's not anywhere crazy far. If we wanted to go on a road trip, we could always take Ryan's car too. So I just wanted to be transparent about the leasing and buying because I'm always kind of like nosy about that. Um, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't be proud of myself making this big decision. So if you're a car lover watching this video, I'm sorry. I literally know nothing about cars. I kind of just wanted to share some of the differences I saw and show you guys a couple of the new features. That's why I had my boyfriend do most of the docking because I feel like he knows a lot more than me about cars in general. But I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I cannot wait to film more vlogs in this car.